whether you're looking for margaritas and your sunny sunshine and the summer months regardless if you're a summer connoisseur of your margaritas versus also your negroni in a cozy heading out bar there are tons of options for co cocktail bars that are in wellington as i'm your travel guide as your recommendation and there are some of they are some of the best in the southern hemisphere don't get me wrong it was hard to narrow down the list for myself based on the research and recommendations based on other people of the locals so this is just a list based on myself and the locals that has given me these recommendations of the best cocktail bars in wellington for you all but i've hopefully included a range for you guys from the cheapest student favorites if you're on a budget this is also to a classy hotel bar or some lane hiding hideaways that you're maybe into just maybe more of an atmospheric type that is more fun and lively for you all basically so before i begin this as your little mini tour guide if you will if you are new i welcome you all i'm sb answers i'm a host content creator i advocate and navigate through life with autism and mental health as well as my new condition adhd i take you all on a journey with me based on just some topics based on those three areas i also hopefully like said, time depending do some challenges and travel videos with father law depending on you know what his plans and my plans are like and it's just some fun and games and whatever in the mix in between that so if you're into any of these and more feel free to smash that subscribe button on the bottom of the screen and turn on the notification bell and don't forget to share these videos to family and friends especially maybe the ones that i'm hoping to really really pop out a bit more to advocate and navigate through life with autism and adhd and mental health so that hopefully you learn more especially as for me as an autistic slash adhd year with the condition because everybody's different on the spectrum and how they go about it so you may be wondering if you haven't been following me right now what the heck i'm talking about well you can find out more based on one of my videos that will be listed above me in the i card on my travel to wellington earlier this year that was late for new years based on this trip to wellington because these are the mini series and i'm hoping to address you all to get more in depth of the well not in depth of it but just to take you all on a journey and travel with father Lyra and i based on certain topic be it if you're looking for a place to stay maybe some food to eat your wining and dining experiences versus basically if you're a coffee connoisseur you know you name it hopefully i'll be able to pick up where i've left off on the wellington trip especially as certain recommendations and hopefully in saying this some of this should once my website is fully completed properly i should be able to post them also on my blog of so that you can just read it up if you're not of a person watching me on the screen either i am trying to give you guys a variation of choices here so again as i said this is going to be called the as it listed in my title of the video 10 best cocktail bars in wellington you may need to visit as a recommendation so let's begin this because number one is called the night flower where you can find this is in Gunsey street so as it oh i'm night flower basically arrived in, in this town a few years ago and now is possibly the wellington's most popular cocktail bar around it has a prime position upstairs on the corner of tuba and Gunsey streets with balconies overlooking tuba street where you can with people wa watch while sipping away on your bespoke cocktail of your choice night flower's differentiating factor however is that they have no menu so or they can do the classic you know cocktails if you ask them but the idea here is tell the bartender what you like rum smoky or sour sweet and fruity or savory and herby or in between so it's each to their own obviously because obviously everybody has their different taste and preferences of cocktails am i right here and then they'll make up something to suit your taste buds or just taste in general so it's, you won't be surely you know saddened by what they can do obviously never had them so have them get them wrong and you can get a completely different drink every time you go there that they can offer to you when you do actually ask for them so be sure to hopefully know your cocktails from inside out leave you me i'm still learning all the basic cocktails some of the cocktails i've already had some i might need to try again i don't know i've tried some in the past and present but hey don't want to get too heavy-handed do we okay number two on the list of the top 10 Hawthorne Lounge where you can find this is basically in Torrey Street of Wellington which is in Wellington Central Hawthorne Lounge is tucked away at the end of an easily missable corridor on Torrey Street which is keeping basically the era of the 1920s vibe for you all which speak easy style of this but it's the kind of place that manages to be dark and gloomy in a most glamorous way this is a great spot to bring a date at the as the booths and small tables feel private and romantic due to the lamp lighting for drinks however they obviously really like the dark curse side of the cocktails like the negorini but the menu changes often again like many restaurants or bars so there's always something new and seasonal to try because obviously most places as i've been around new zealand depending on what you want to do see taste or whatever they fancy it will change over season and obviously weather dependent and everything else based on the activities or whatever it may be of your choice number three is your cgr merchant where you can find this is in courtney place of wellington cgr in this case however stands for cocktail gin and rum this bar really is a top quality merchant of all the three 
that is banned for, for their cocktail bar. They do their own gin infusions like your rhubarb or coconut gin or banoffee gin and then they use them in delicious cocktails like the banoffee espresso martini. So I'm still learning new every day which quick catches my eye. I've heard a new fancy cocktail since I'm a cocktail connoisseur as well as some other connoisseurs of what you can say. Obviously this bar is in the middle of Courtney Place however in a party area but it's so been removed from the chaos at street level because obviously Courtney Place was well known for the liveliness of Wellington's and the town central there based on like transgenders coming in you've got the strip joint and all that which I did mention in one of my videos I think it's the one that I did for the three four days of what for the lion I got up but obviously in this case the bar isn't all that big though to, to be a mind so you'll want to come in early if you if you can but it's buzzing and friendly inside with all the staff number four is the hanging ditch where you can find this place is in Lee Street hanging ditch is in the awesome Hannah's laneway which we they love for all things food and drink right so the decor here is super cool with lots of empty spirit bottles hanging from the ceiling it's also very cozy and laid back with most of the seating and couches and armchairs definitely the kind of place you mean to drop in for a drink and end up being the night at hanging ditch is one of the cheaper bars on the list with a range of simple cocktails under 20 dollars if you're on a budget as a recommendation and then more unique and prettier options going up from there depending on your, again your price budget and what you may like as a cocktail situation or so so number five on the list of the top 10 cocktail bars or restaurants in wellington is your havana bar where you can find them is in wigan street this isn't technically a dedicated cocktail bar however i must apologize but they focus on cocktails and wine as the well but you can also go for the amazing cocktails of your choice it's in a colorful converted heritage house just behind cuba street there and near the lighthouse cinema post movie drinks if you will the house setup is quite good for bigger groups as there's a bit more base and then many of the more intimate co cocktail bars around but on cocktails are mostly around the 20 dollar mark however if you must know based on the price value and include a classic seasonal and cuban range with cheap mojitos on a friday so every friday from what i can recall they have been doing the classic mojitos so to speak if you're into that number six library bar upstairs up in courtney place is the location library bar is where they usually go as students for the local i've found out they had something to celebrate or just wanted to just you know pretend that they were classy you know being posh knobs if you will you know it's still the bar you can most likely run into for a drunk uni student or students but their clientele is broader than that however of what they range from true to their name or theme the bar is lined with bookshelves holding actual books and they often do literally themed cocktails as well library bar is particularly good for events as they come up with some cocktail for wellingtonians basically on a plate especially wellington on a plate because obviously wellington on a plate is an event that is usually well known for basically hence the name your seasonal kind of fruit veggies and just produces or whatever of your seafood and everything else in between of that but basically they do different meals from all around the world with the, their produce and stuff and so on and so forth because obviously wellington central as well as some other parts of new zealand are well known for different restaurants that will tailor for your taste buds if you're from another country and you're missing your country but i'm sure as how there are some restaurants that will match to your needs be it your, if you want a japanese restaurant as i clearly mentioned in one of the videos versus basically malaysian or what have you but i think from memory wellington and auckland put together don't get me wrong i could be wrong if anyone in new zealand that is from those regions correct me from what i understand is basically from those two regions of new zealand auckland and wellington especially that usually they tailor for different parts of the world of different restaurants because obviously they also do a seasonal easter cocktail and things like that also as an option if you're coming through from a different you know time frame as i mentioned be it easter and whatever i'm sure as hell many bar cocktail bars especially in wellington will offer that to you as well as auckland or wherever very instagrammable kind of pictures as well as your drink of your fancy they do two for one cocktails on a wednesday but be warned though however that's when all the students go and get messy trash and the like well otherwise the drinks will range from 17 to 34 dollars depending on again your price and your pocket so to speak based on these recommendations and so on and so forth on depending on the time of year when you're going into wellington or other parts of new zealand and hoping to actually give you more details on number seven crumpet cocktail this made me laugh father lie and i kind of look for this one what on our travels because he's like the look of it cause, like, as he said to me he was hoping for us to try and you know get our taste buds on instead of his classic beers that you may have seen in his our past video so as i said before crumpet this should be found in manor street of wellington which is again i think in wellington central part of wellington the main township because as i noticed wellington is obviously a big city so you've got different suburbs and townships in wellington like any other part this one 
it was obviously the kind of place you'd probably walk past a few times but again well and I were, were trying to google map every place we could think of of restaurants bars and bars and what have you and we couldn't spot most of them so again some of the things may have changed based on from my part time when I used to go there without having Father Lai and I around and just when I was younger you see something you think oh it's going to be there for a lifetime but then again boyah it's closed off or whatever the case may be but as I said you probably walked past a few times and you haven't been quite sure of what it's all about right hence the title of the name you feel a bit uncomfortable or a bit nervous going in believe you me I was as well when I was hoping to try it too also obviously the name suggests it as a breakfast type food item crumpet but they don't open until after lunch sadly although they do serve savoury crumpets as bar snack which is strange by the lie on I think but as we know that's how it is crumpet is kind of the back entrance of opera house which I obviously was kind of located on the map when it was reading this based on the research and recommendations from the locals based on this but then we couldn't find it we were on a crazy hunt for finding every damn thing I'll tell you all of my experiences about this in my last video of the history of Wellington of certain monuments and that what it's known for if you will if you really want to laugh oh, oh, oh boy some of it might be a laugh if you will and same as also like you can get some preso drink and obviously their cocktail here offers more classic varieties based on whatever you fancy again each to their own of what you want and stuff as well as in saying this the actual price point that you're looking at just be in mind as I'm recommending so number eight we finish this of the top ten is love bite I know these are some unusual you know cocktail bar names right like as well as your fancy classic co uh, restaurants that you may think some of them are really weird or also cafe shops right don't get me wrong obviously it's up to the owner of the business how they want it to address to the patrons how they want it and stuff but again no matter what the reasoning behind the names hopefully all the history of it be able to know about it but obviously you want to know where they're located they're located in Foster's Lane of Wellington this is the sister bar to the library cocktail Love Bite is one of the newest bars in town or shall we say in the city of Wellington and has a quirky Ada style concept for this cocktail bar between the vintage theme decor think jukeboxes and Pac-Man however and the creative menu they can guarantee you won't get bored of because obviously there's a huge range and variety of certain food on the menu for you while the Forester's Lane location looks like a derelict back alley however it's been home to a few different bars over the many years that you know has been located but they hope Love Bite is here to stay cocktails here are on the cheaper end starting around $14 if you're into you know cheaper cocktails as well as also having cocktail bottles that you can share between a few mates if you will to you know even save money next on the list is Foxglove this is located on the Queen's Wharf of Wellington obviously this is one that is nearer the coastline of the shoreline of your cocktail bars or just have to include one on the waterfront option obviously because obviously as I said before in the beginning that you know Wellington is well known for many things to see and do being the hub of everything especially some other parts of New Zealand as well known for some other reasonings beforehand like I said in, in my past travel videos and depending on again what you're into but obviously in saying this if you want to include one of the options on the waterfront this is the place to go especially on sunny days like in the summer if you really want to kick back a lap and you don't just want to be outside Fox Club is a super spacious bar right above or right on Queen's Wharf in itself they obviously have like indoor and outdoor options for those days when it's sunny but not freezing because obviously each to their own depending on you know the season and the time of year you go for the year you go to their cocktails however aren't as standout as some of the other specialist bars further up the list that of recommendations I've shared so far to you is, but they do have the classics though as well still that being said however Vox Bluff is popular in summer so my suggestion here is book ahead if you really want a prime after work spot on the balcony of where you are last on the list is Hot Sauce where is this located? Cable Street Wellington Hot Sauce is the hotel restaurant bar of QT Wellington one of their favourite luxury recommendation of their accommodation in Wellington but rather than that being a general hotel bar however it's a tre trendy and high end Asian fusion restaurant if you want that does some awesome cocktail pairings with your Asian fusion dishes and so on and so forth this is another one to hit up around Wellington on a plate time period of the year as their creations are always outstanding I'm, I must add as most of the awesome Wellington cocktails are concentrated around the city centre particularly around or outside of Wellington especially particularly in the Courtney Place area however you could easily hit up a few in an evening as a DIY cocktail crawl as a suggestion for you all otherwise keep the list in your back pocket for a date night with your partner or whoever it may be because obviously this is a suggestion as I'm ending this we could also go around during Zuomon's birthday the Cocktail Wellington Festival obviously is a part of Wellington on a plate so there's another event you can look out for as a suggestion as well as Wellington on a plate that I've mentioned so many times in this video so this 
just quickly ends, obviously, what I'm sharing with you all. Before I go, obviously, two videos will be popping up as I leave. One is going to be the most uploaded one or what have you. And then the second one will be the playlist that features Father Life past and present travel videos as well as myself on my own. If you feel the need and have to just to see where I've been in the past and present in New Zealand, obviously, if you are planning to go around New Zealand somewhere, I suggest to have a look into those and just maybe just feel at home if you will because obviously, as I say, but in all for the do guys thanks for watching do what you love what what you do don't forget to smash that subscribe button share the videos around